Hey everybody, it's Russell Winwood here. I don't normally do video posts, uh, but this time around I think it's uh, an important one. As most of you know who have been following my journey for the last two years, I've been using a ketogenic diet um, to great success. And as many of you know, I, I certainly advocate it. It's not a diet for everyone, but I think uh, a lot of people can benefit from this diet. Over the next four weeks, I'm going to go to a different diet, and that is the one recommended for respiratory patients here in Australia. Um, it's the dietary guidelines for COPD patients. Now, this diet is very different to what I'm used to, that's for sure. Um, five food groups, um, vegetables, fruit, grains, meat, uh, and dairy. Um, so this will be interesting. And my objective here is to compare diets. So compare the ketogenic diet that I've been using to what the experts say is the dietary guidelines that COPD patients should use. I think you know which way I'm learning what's going to be uh, the better diet, but anyhow, we'll see. Uh, I've had blood tests taken um, over recent days um, while I've been in ketosis um, to see how they look. Um, and then over the next four weeks, I'm going to get a series of blood tests and lung function tests to see how this new diet is affecting me, whether it's going to be positive, negative, who knows. And I've got to admit, over a four week period, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, time will tell. I'm not going to clog up your, your feed with um, regular hourly posts. Um, I plan to post a video um, like this uh, once a week and give you an update on uh, what I've found so far. It's not designed to to tip your your preferences anyway. It's just here for information and at the end of it hopefully you can look at different dietary options and pick one that you think is going to be suitable for you. Um, I've taken my weight and I've uh, looked at my BMI which at the moment um, I'm in the healthy weight range for BMI, so that's good. Um, I've taken my bloods um, at the start of this, as I said, so it gives me a starting point. Um, so it's going to be an interesting experiment, and um, I'll keep you all posted. So here goes nothing. Bye for now.